Well, before we go into the new album, <coughs> um, I was just wondering, what was the first album that you bought when you were young? Uh, I didn't personally buy it. I, I begged my mother to buy a Yellow Brick Road. Okay. Elton John. Yeah. Why? I liked the cover. And did you like the music? Yeah, I love the music. Yeah. I, I spent many hours of my nine and ten year old ages listening to that record. Yeah. And what 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 was so good about the cover and about the music for you? I don't know. You know, it just um, just caught my eye, and and I just for some reason I really have to have that. Please, please, please. And how old were you? I think I was nine. Seventy-five was this? Yeah. yeah. Around there. And um, do you still like Elton John? Oh yeah. What what makes him good for music? Uh, well, the, I mean, I enjoy the earlier records. I, you know, he just it's, it's great music. You know, it's um, great lyrics. Bernie, great lyrics, and he had a great band. And yeah. He's a great player and great melodies. And and after after that, were you already playing the guitar? Um, no. I found a guitar afterwards, um, and it was the same kind of thing. I just have to have that. I, you know, I can't really explain it. It was just, it was kind of calling me rather than me calling it. Yeah. And how old were you? First guitar? Ten. So around the same time. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. And what did you do? Did your music, uh, well, the music, music that you listened to? Did it change once, once you had a guitar, or did you still listen to the same music, like mm -hmm. Elton John, or did you start listening to more guitar-based music? I mean, after a while, I did. And once, because um, when I was in, I did a talent show and did your song, right. you know? and um, um, and then uh, as I got a little older and I got an electric guitar, because, you know. Frampton Comes Alive came out, and that was a giant influence. And so I got a crappy Les Paul copy, and and then then I found out about Jeff Beck, and then I found out, and then in high school somebody played Band of Gypsies for me, and it was like well, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. Like that's allowed, you know? And like it it blew my head all open. You know? And did you start trying to learn all those? Yeah, I, I was trying to learn everything that I, I had, you know, because um, besides taking um, classes to to learn to just the first position chords, it was all just listening and watching other people. And what was the f the first solo or maybe riff that you could play then, back then? Well, friend, it comes alive. Okay. Yeah. That was that was a fun one. A neighbor showed it to me. Okay. And um, well, I think then we talk about uh, early and late seventies. Uh -huh. um, what what were your steps after that? Were you immediately well trying to form your own band or? Yeah, I was I, I was writing songs right away and. Trying to <coughs> why 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 how come <coughs> right? Because that's how I was taught to sing songs, yeah. and when I when I if I didn't know any, I just made them up. Yeah. You know, I just started writing songs about stuff that I saw. Before you got into Black Rose, you you had Burning Tree. Mm -hmm. um, have you listened to to that album recently? Uh, last year I did because it got remastered or re-released in in England, yeah. and so they sent me some, and um, I listened to it. What, what do you hear? I hear a bunch of young men mm -hmm. trying to rule the world. It's cute. Yeah. There's 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 quality in it, and there's you know I I'm proud of all of it. Yeah. And are, are, are there certain things that, well, that you still 
that you learned during those years that you're still well, revisiting now or yeah I'm not sure that I could explain them um, like I said I mean I was learning from watching videos or, or listening to records um, I learned a lot more on the road once we got on a tour and I still that I still sort of you know I remember oh yeah that 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 was a stupid idea don't do that yeah do do you have an example yeah don't stay out too late <laughs> try to eat the best food you can and uh, yeah when did you learn this a few well, years ago uh, well uh, yeah I mean I learned it Looking back, I learned it right away. I, I just didn't pay attention. Okay. Um, well, um, maybe if we talk about the Holy Ghost album, then we can also well talk about certain things from your past because yeah. I think this is a okay. this is talking about your past. Who this, yeah. uh, this album? Um, well, it's been four years since your previous album, like like you were saying, for first machine. Um, mm -hmm. What was the starting point for this album, Holy Ghost? Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, if I don't necessarily have to have a project to write songs. They come when they come. And um, I just, I took time off. It was actually longer, because the record was made in December of 07 or 08 or something. And it was released in 010 or 2010. Um, so it's been it's been a long time since I made a record, um, and I you know I, I took some time off and life got quieter. I had acoustic guitar, and you just start strumming things out. So and then uh, at one point it was just you know it's time to get back to work again. Why? And uh, and that's when I called Stu and said, you know, I think you got the best band for this this grouping of songs that I've got, and and so he just said, well, get over here, let's do that. And yeah, so. um, why do you think that? Well, it's well, the band is was Phantom Limp. Yeah. They broke up. Yeah, but not when I asked them. Okay. But why do you think that their band uh, suited your songs the best? <clears throat> just uh, probably their 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 taste and their their um, ability to play to the song. I, I had you know there's a few groups of musicians that I have at home that could have done it, but I think the songs would have had to be tailored a little bit. Um, I was just hearing those musicians play these songs. You know. And you also pr produced their album? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we spent two weeks in California doing their record, and that's when I got to know everybody and, and how they played and, and, and their, the possibilities of them as a band. Yeah. You know, and, and it, I, it didn't really hit me till later. It's like, they're perfect for this. That's good. Um, what was the first song, the oldest song on this album? Uh, the oldest song is Turquoise Blue. And when? when and probably 15 years ago. And then Call Me Faithful is, uh, was, was written in Paris when I was on tour with Ben Harper. Uh, and those are the two older songs. The rest are pretty much within the last four or five years. And how come those two songs made it up on the album? Oh, again, they're, it, they're just songs that um, just didn't seem to fit the groups of other songs yeah. for records. Yeah. Um, but as certain songs, maybe I, I, I wrote down certain lyrics because maybe I think they suit the, the, the face you're in right now. Um. Um, I'm free. Mm -hmm. um, there's a line over there. Um, 
I was living in uh, in shadows. I was catching uh, my breath. Uh, I just couldn't shake the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. Sounds like pretty dark times. No, yeah. When when where were you referring to when you wrote this? Oh, just struggle with drugs. Struggle with uh, identity. Struggle with you know insecurity. All these things that that hound people. You know, I mean. Was it? Did it hound you long? It yeah, long? it hounded most of my life. And when? Because well, the song is called "I'm Free," so it means mm -hmm. that. Well, are is it over now or? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm cool, man. I, I, I you know. I'm. Uh, when you got nothing to hide, everything's cool. Yeah. And do you know the the exact moment what happened that you wrote these lyrics? Was it something that triggered it, or mm, not? Not any one particular thing. It's just you know, just you, you lay around long enough and be still with a guitar in your hand, and, and thoughts come to your mind. And, you know, it's. I think I was just being grateful one day about like you know. Man, it's been hard, and now it's so much better. Yeah. Yeah. What was the hardest time, and what what was or, or what is the best time? That's tough to say. I mean, ODing in front of my son was the worst time, probably. And when, when was that? That was, uh, was a while ago. I mean, he's 25, and I think he might have been 11 or 12 at the time. So that was rough. And then, you know, just not being able to really shake things for a while was, was tough. Um, but um, and these are the good times. I had a daughter born five years ago. She was, that was a good day. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you stay free now? How do you stay positive? How do you stay of, of drugs and, and of your demons? I don't need them. I don't need them. That's good. 